Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Apollo Art Analysis. Today we're going to be looking at a piece by the Turkish illustrator Amir Zand. He's a very popular artist and at this point he's a career artist who works with some pretty uh, big money clients. And so in this episode, we're going to be talking a little bit about center emphasis, near symmetry, and then we're also going to talk about the divine elements of the natural order. So let's jump right into it. So whenever you first see this piece, you're likely going to be caught by this large kind of emerald-esque obelisk here in the center region of the spatial composition. And this really emphasizes itself, of course, through placement in that near symmetrical spatial composition, but also through this really stunning and striking light on dark contrast. And that green really pulls you in. It's incredibly vivid and it almost feels like this large crystal here. Although it does have the textures of more like a stone, so that is important to note. You know, it's not translucent or anything like that, but it is really kind of um, vivid in color in the way that it, it shines there. So we see... Um, of course, a near symmetrical spatial composition. And it's quite interesting because this kind of lower descending region of the spatial composition is the most symmetrical. But as we go up, you see, of course, it's not facing head on to the obelisk, but I would say about above this line, you see that it, it does not follow uh, near symmetry. Of course, even down here, it's not perfectly symmetrical, but it is what we would call near symmetry. And that really feels like a, a harmonious and very orderly balanced visual experience. So that really is really, really interesting. So you see this kind of sprouts up and it's almost random, you know, it's not, it's not mirrored right here. So that, that is what I mean by that sense of near symmetry just kind of evaporates. Of course, you see some lower brushes here. So there is this kind of sense of dynamic um, form within the spatial composition. Of course, that is really natural as well. That kind of asymmetry is found in nature, even though they're all also symmetrical forms. And so, like I said, that, that's a really balanced visual experience. And that is uh, quite interesting how it combines both of, the, both of those there in the final visual experience. So we see we see that the, the emerald, of course, it's in the center here, but it looks like it it is synonymous with the with the trunk. Of course, the form of the trunk is right behind it. So if we were to mark it, it's kind of like it's kind of like right there. So so the form is of course within that. So it almost feels as if this large obelisk is the foundation of the tree itself because all of these branches feels as if they sprout from that. Of course, that is because the emerald is standing right in front of the trunk of the tree. So that's really interesting and it it almost brings it in direct harmony with the tree as well, as if this obelisk is meant to represent maybe an embodied uh, physical form of the divine natural realm. So that is really interesting to note. And of course, nature is incredibly, incredibly divine. It births, cultivates, uh, destroys slash kills, and even rebirths life all within the same breath. And it is, it is quite remarkable. And as conscious beings, and of course, living beings by nature, of that consciousness, we are, we are, we owe a great deal of gratitude to the environment and we cannot destroy the environment without by nature destroying ourselves. So we should really pay attention to that. And there, there's also this, this unique mix of science fiction and kind of like a divine natural fantasy here. And that, of course, the science fiction feels like this massive cyberpunk realm, but there is also there's also the the divine natural realm here in the center, and there's kind of like a cyberpunk urban environment mixed with that, which is a really, really interesting visual experience. It, it's like a hybridized experience, but the tree is, you know, almost feels like it's overgrown. It's kind of almost destroying or ignoring the cyberpunk environment to just take over. And so a lot of respect to nature on that part. And just notice how large this spatial composition is. And that sense of scale could also be something like, uh, say, the the contrast of the lone individual in, in juxtaposition to say the global ecosystem we nature is absolutely massive and we are quite small when, when compared to the greater ecosystems that we live in and so there's uh something really unique there as well we see a lone hero it looks like there's two hovering objects there and this this lone hero may be discovering this for the first time 
maybe it's paying tribute and kind of visiting as some type of uh, sanctuary or some type of uh, divine destination, paying pilgrimage to that. It's hard to say exactly what's going on here, but there's no doubt that it's an incredibly divine natural realm. And we really see uh, the spirit of that incredibly everywhere. And so I hope you guys enjoyed. Amir Zand, he made his uh, premiere debut on... I believe it was late December. That was the first piece we ever showcased. Uh, Pretty soon, I'm actually going to do an artist showcase where we go through his works that we've showcased so far. I believe it is four works at this point that we have showcased from Amir Zand. So we can make even a video on just Amir Zand's art and kind of display all of that. So I think that'd be interesting to... Uh, future episode ideas so hope you guys enjoyed we talked a little bit about the divine natural world we talked about you know this this contrast here and this incredible large obelisk there in the center we talked about uh, the mix of science fiction and divine natural fantasy and we also talked about the uh, turkish illustrator amir zand who created this work so really really love the scale of this spatial composition a incredible incredible work and i hope you guys enjoyed my name is apollo this was apollo art analysis and i'll see you guys on the next episode we hope you enjoyed today's episode if you'd like to support our work directly please check out our apollo community tokens apollo art exchange is an ecosystem of art appreciation which elevates artists each and every day thanks for listening